Folks, it's an exciting night. You know, the midterms are less than two months away, and one of the most closely watched races is down in Texas and features my guest tonight, Democratic Senate candidate and man who's either 20 or 40, Beto O'Rourke. He's running... <laughs> hey, guy, we got some Beto heads tonight. Beto is running in Texas against incumbent senator and man whose campaign staff is definitely watching the show right now, <laughs> Ted Cruz, because it is close, which is scaring the Republicans. So earlier this summer, in order to save the Cruz campaign, Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick showed up in Washington to deliver an urgent plea to White House officials, send President Donald Trump. You know it's bad. When you need backup from a man with a 36% approval rating, <laughs> their backup plan to that is a celebrity endorsement from the herpes virus. Oh, here's how... Man. Here's how scared Ted Cruz is of Beto O'Rourke. He bought ads on my show tonight to counter his interview. I assume... I assume it's for Cruz's campaign and not for his patented line of reptile moisturizers. Cruz's oozes... <laughs> No more dry leg, Johnny Iguana. Wow. And he does seem... Cruz does seem moist all the time. <laughs> and the Texas GOP has been launching personal attacks on O'Rourke like two weeks ago when they tweeted, maybe Beto can't debate Ted Cruz because he already had plans. Alongside this photo of Beto from his punk rock days. Yes, his plans were being smoking hot in a naughty but approachable sort of way. <laughs> Like your best friend's older brother who smells like weed and listens to Radiohead. Read us your poems, Beto! <laughs> People online seemed to like the fact that Beto was in a cool punk band and pointed out that Ted Cruz played Adam in a mime performance of the Christian creation story <laughs> when he was in high school, and they included this picture. <laughs> How do you do a mime performance of the creation story? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and God said nothing, for he was trapped in an invisible box. <laughs> the GOP tried again by tweeting out this mugshot of his drunk driving arrest 20 years ago. Now, there's no excuse for drunk driving. Beto has apologized, but posting this mugshot backfired on the GOP, as some people responded with tweets like, why'd they tweet this photo of Beto looking hot as <laughs> And Beto slide into my DMs, though, and I just accidentally referred to Beto O'Rourke as Daddy Beto in front of my actual father, and he is very confused and concerned. All of this explains Beto's new campaign slogan, Beto for Senate, get thirsty for this hot zaddy to beat it up. Ben, no idea what that means. I have no, no idea what that means. You don't know? No idea. Oh, la bolsa samba. Ben. Ted Cruz launched uh, on a new line of attack against Beto with this ad. Beto O'Rourke wants to be a senator. Yeah. So he's showing up across Texas, sharing his wit. How up is that? His wisdom. What the f are these guys doing? And his character. I really up. Beto O'Rourke, he's showing the f up. Yeah, okay. Remember that. Beto is a dirty-minded potty mouth. You must protect the values of Texas and vote for the man who likes threesome porn on Twitter. Wow. I'll be talking about all of this later with bad boy Beto O'Rourke himself, as long as he shows the up.